Not all Chinese restaurants are created equal. In some restaurants, the food on your plate may be indistinguishable from what you'd find in Beijing, but most likely, the food you awkwardly stab at with chopsticks may as well be fast food and have all the health benefits to match. So next time you decide to just order out, remember these things you should never order from a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> General Tso's Chicken Named after a 19th-century military man who was long dead when this dish was invented, General Tso's chicken started out life in the Hunanese style and it wasn't sweet. When the dish appeared on the menu at a restaurant in New York, the chef added sweetness to make the dish more appealing to Americans. It's not like General Tso's chicken was a diet option to begin with, since it's battered, fried meat covered in a sticky sweet concoction made of sugar and soy sauce. That means salt and lots of it. Eat a standard portion of General Tso's and you've put away over 1,500 calories and more salt than you should eat in a whole day. Unless you're a 19th century fighting soldier, don't eat it. And if you are, welcome to the 21st century. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yeah! Fried rice. White rice has the lowest nutritional value of any rice option available, so when you throw it in a pan of oil, things just go downhill. The oily, starchy, undeniably delicious results are an unnecessary calorie addition to your meal. And when you've just eaten 1,500 calories of General Tso's favorite, the last thing you need is several hundred more on the side. Calorie counts vary depending on the oil used, but start at around 200 calories for just a cup-sized portion, which isn't much. And if the chef isn't deliberately aiming for health consciousness when he rustles up your order, the calorie count and your doctor's eyebrows could easily get much higher. Crab Rangoon Whether you call them cream cheese wontons or crab puffs, Crab Rangoon is basically crab and cream cheese stuffed into a dough wrapper and, like most other things on this list, are deep fried. Truth be told, it doesn't even matter what's in the dough once it's deep fried because that's the culinary equivalent of a mic drop. And not in a good way either. Crab meat, imitation or not, can make for a healthy meal, but cream cheese has never been considered the poster child of anything but indulgence. And it's definitely not Chinese. This unholy marriage is a Chinese-American invention that's laden with calories and fat. Instead, go for the spring rolls. If you're going to overindulge, you might as well do it with something that's actually Chinese. They'll still kill you, but at least it'll be an authentic death. Orange beef the beefier cousin of General Tso's chicken, orange beef is similarly bad for you, and it's not hard to understand why. Most nutritional data assumes that a takeout container has two servings, but it's not uncommon for people to order a container just for themselves. So all those numbers should probably be doubled. Orange beef is somewhere in the neighborhood of a frightening 1,200 calories, 50 grams of fat, and 1,900 milligrams of sodium. If you can hold yourself to just half the container and absolutely nothing else, you're probably doing all right. However, if you're a normal human being who simply can't resist the siren song of that free egg roll, you might avoid going over your recommended calorie limit for the whole day. But probably not. And don't think that trading out chicken for beef will help. The secret is in the sauce, and that sauce will kill you. Barbecue Spare Ribs Combine delicious, tender, roasted pork with a mouth-watering glaze of salty sweet barbecue sauce and you have a dish fit for your inner Neanderthal. Unfortunately, just because something sounds good to your personal Flintstone doesn't mean it's good for you. The only positive thing that can be said about spare ribs, other than the taste, is that they're a good source of protein. However, that protein comes from pork, which rarely goes anywhere without a whole bunch of fat, and you'll find around 950 calories in an 8-ounce serving, as well as 1,200 milligrams of sodium, which is dangerously close to your daily recommended amount of 1,500 milligrams. And if that weren't enough, here's one last nail in the coffin of your deadly dinner. Lo mein Noodles would never lie to you, right? Lo mein is a popular takeout dish that contains noodles, vegetables, meat, and a soy-based sauce. In the traditional Cantonese style, lo mein is a solid option, but order it in an American restaurant and you'll get something completely different. A standard serving of lo mein with your choice of meat can have as many as 1,100 calories, most of which come from the carb-heavy noodles and fat. You'll just have to accept that obesity and heart disease are also a signature element of lo mein, or just eat something else. Woohoo! Look at that blubber fly! Thanks for watching! Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!